Welcome back to our channel, Montreal Canadiens fans. We've got some important news to discuss today regarding one of the team's top prospects, David Reinbacher. After suffering a serious injury during Saturday night's game against the Toronto Maple Leafs, it was initially feared that Reinbacher would be sidelined for a long period of time. And unfortunately, those fears were confirmed after his surgery on Tuesday morning. Stick around for all the details. David Reinbacher, who was selected fifth overall by the Canadians in the 2023 NHL draft, has officially undergone surgery on his left knee. The medical team estimates his recovery will take between five to six months. This is a tough blow for the young defender, as he was preparing to start his first full professional season here in North America. Last season, Reinbacher split his time between H.C. Cloten in Switzerland and the Laval Rocket in the AHL, showing plenty of promise with his skills on the ice. Before we continue, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and give this video a like to stay updated on all things Montreal Canadiens. Your support helps us bring you the latest news, so don't miss out. In addition to Reinbacher's injury, there's been concern about forward Patrick Lane, who was also hurt in the same game. The 26-year-old was acquired in August from the Columbus Blue Jackets in exchange for Jordan Harris and a second-round draft pick in 2026. While there haven't been any updates on Lane's condition, fans are hopeful it's not a long-term issue. Lane has struggled with injuries in recent seasons, playing only 18 games last year, so this is definitely a situation to monitor closely. Losing a prospect like Reinbacher for an extended period is definitely disappointing for the Canadians, especially with the potential he's shown. But we hope to see him make a full recovery and return stronger than ever. As for Lane, we're keeping an eye on his status, and hopefully, it won't be another setback for the talented forward. What do you think this means for the Canadians' defense going forward? Drop a comment below. Until next time.